Ladies and gentlemen, this video is about this gentleman, Walk City Councilman Stephen McAllister. He is by far the most disgraceful elected official the city has ever seen. He does not study the data in front of him. He's unable to answer questions. He's never answered a financial question posed to him. He diverts it to somebody else. He has a clear disdain for the general public. And he's just disgraceful, not to mention the fact he's, he's really dumb. Let's just watch what happens. Mr. McAllister, before I start, I just have a quick question on order so as not to be interrupted. Um, please please uh, identify yourself for the record, sir. Rob Cody, Ward 7. So the last time we did this at the last ratification, Mr. Lattisaw asked for a legal opinion from Council Solicitor Harrington as to if the residents could ask questions to specific council members. And the answer was, in accordance with the Open Meetings Act, residents have the right to ask questions to specific council members. Are we still going under the guidelines of the Open Meetings Act and we can ask questions to our council members? Ask your questions. Okay. Notice that was a yes, no question. He refused to answer it. Sir, Great. This is your opportunity. Thank you. So Mr. McCallister, the first question that I have for you is what schedule is the Walk Fire Department currently on? What work schedule are we on? This is a very simple question. The answer is contained in the first paragraph of the contract. It's called the Boston Schedule, 24-hour schedule. He didn't even know the answer to that. Um, administration? Well, Mr. McCallister, I'm, I'm asking you that question. And the point administration of order, is point here. Of order, Mr. Mr. President. Excuse Mr. me. Mr. President, but, point of order. Excuse I me. would like to have an opinion from the legal counsel as to the I recognize the Councilman Latta, sir. Excuse me? You are not recognized, Councilman Latta. I'm issuing a point of order. You are not recognized at this time, Councilman Latta, sir. So you refuse to answer the question? I will speak to the solicitor. Thank you. So now he tries to talk to the city lawyer, the city solicitor, but he comes back with the same nonsense. Thank you very much. Uh, you can ask your questions. I'm going to have the administration answer the questions and uh, you will get any questions you have answered. Okay, well, just so to put on the record, you're in violation of the Open Meetings Act because it was specifically stated. I actually have any questions, questions on the ratification at uh, this time. And I have that audio here if you'd like me to play. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, do you have any questions on the ratification of the contract? Yeah, so the first question was to you, Mr. McAllister. Do you know, currently know what schedule the War Fire Department's on? So once again, he diverts to somebody else from the administration. Let the record show that the councilman does not answer the question. <clears throat> okay, question for Mr. McAllister. Um, have you reviewed the official documents pertaining to sick time leading up to the ratification? Administration? Well, I'm asking if you reviewed them. Did you actually look at them as part of the contract? Did you look at them? Mr. Cody, we are here to ask questions to the administration and the union who are presenting this. Well, I'm going to ask you. you. Okay, that's fine. So let the record show that the council president was unable to answer that question. So I'll continue. So let me ask, uh, let me ask this question, uh, Mr. McAllister. Do you know how many sick days we had in this past contract? administration so once again he can't answer the question very simple let the record show that the council member is unable to answer that question go ahead administration was the question how many how many sick days in total were taken correct we don't have that information with us right now okay let the record show that the chief of the fire department does not know how many sick days there were let me ask Mr. Schaefer, do you know how many sick days there were in the fire department 2022? Sick leaves is your question? Dollar value? No, how many sick days? I don't know the answer to that question. Let the record show that the finance director did not know the answer to the I question. The dollar I don't so know the sick days. The, the resident knows the answer to the question, and the question was how many sick days? There were 1,948 sick days that were taken by the fire department last year, with no less members taken 20, 30, 40, and even in excess of 50 sick days. 
You don't have a lot of sick time. Is it reasonable to ask the question, are these people actually healthy for the job? Someone can answer that. I don't believe that is in the contract, sir. You don't believe what's in the contract? Your opinion, if they were healthy or not. Actually, it is, because if you look in the back of the section, it says that the, it says that the department will maintain a physical health system to ensure that all employees are healthy enough for the job. It's right in the contract, so it is relevant. Oh. So I want to ask a couple of questions about unused sick pay, and I'll ask you, Mr. McAllister, since the Open Meetings Act allows me to do that by law. Can you tell us how many unused sick days are in the bank right now for the Warwick Fire Department, Chief? And again, that was a yes-no question, and he couldn't answer it. Let the record show that the council president can't answer that question either. Fire Chief Peter McMichael, I don't have that data available to me right now. Hey, let the record show that the fire chief doesn't have that data. Can I ask Mr. Schaefer that question? Mr. Schaefer, how many unused sick days does the Warwick Fire Department have in the bank? Again, I only have the dollar value. I don't have it in days. You, don't, you have the dollar value of, of how many unused sick days? So it was uh, in fiscal year 22. It was a little over 700,000 for unused sick time and a little over 500,000 for sick time. So notice we're asking him how many days are in the bank. We're not asking him for dollars and he's unable to answer that question. So I'm not asking what it was for 2022. I'm asking you how many sick days, unused sick days that are accumulated in the bank total for the department? Do you have that data? All I have is dollar values. Okay. So as you know, according to the contract, every year in February, that data is released. I would have thought that you would have been uh, ready to answer those questions and have that data. So as, the, as of the February, as of the February 2022 report, there was 22,510 days minute, Mr. Cody. in the bank. One minute. Mr. Schaefer, can you tell us what the dollar value of that is? So now I'm asking him, what is the value of those days that are in the bank? And Mr. Schaefer can't even answer that question. It's just a small amount of money, $12 million. You really cut me short because I'm timing it here. All I can do is repeat the figures for fiscal year 22. Okay, so what the answer is, is you have a $12 million liability that's in the bank. And through this contract with this 10% cumulative raise, that has an impact of, of $1.2 million that the taxpayers will ultimately have to pay. Mr. Schaefer, did you include that into your fiscal note? that the impact on these raises, how it would impact the unused sick time that's in the bank? It's just a yes or no question. There's a, uh, you know, we have a projection in each year how much the value of the sick time will be, both used and unused in each year of the contract. That's in the fiscal note. Right, but this is in the bank that ultimately the taxpayers have to pay. And this increase impacts that by $1.2 million. That figure is not included in the fiscal note. And because of that, your fiscal note is defective. And this, this council should ask for those numbers because it's a liability that we we'll eventually have to pay. And, Time's up, Mr. Thank you. And just, Mr. just and so there they have it. They cut me off. They're unable to answer any of the questions I pose, but they ratified a $28 million contract, and now the taxpayers are on the hook.